Welcome to the Greenway with Mac, a channel dedicated to active transportation. This video complements another video from Valencia, Spain about BC Metro Route 3. This is how you can break off from BC Metro Route 3 and go to Port Supplia. We are starting from the Fish Miracle Hermitage, or La Ermita del Miracle del Pechets in Valenciano. The trip from here is only about three quarters of a mile and worth the effort. Port Supplia is a charming little village that wraps around a marina. It was originally built in the 1970s as a beach escape for Valencia residents. While it is the second home of many, there are about 2,000 full-time residents living here. If you're looking for culture, then this isn't the spot for you. But if you're looking to relax, enjoy the beach, explore a cute little marina, then this is a great place. I think it's a unique day escape for Valencia residents and would be a fun beach town for visitors looking to spend a few days in the sun. We are starting on a dirt road but we will join the seafront promenade soon. Skip the initial section of the walkway because it's steep for bikes. If we go a little further, there's a cut through that gets us on it easily. The unique tower straight ahead with the top floors overhanging the lower levels make this an easy landmark to spot from a distance. Pedestrians are supposed to be on our right side, while the bike path is marked on this side. Once we make it here, we are in Port Supplia. There are many places to stop and see here. For this video, I went around the whole port and shot the lovely town from many angles. There are plenty of places to grab lunch, savor some ice cream, and sip your favorite drink. This bike path borders the western edge of Port Supplia and continues north as part of the Anel Verde. Valencian or the Green Ring. The Enel Verde is a bike route that makes a loop around the city of Valencia and is partially finished. You can expect a video on sections 6 and 7 very soon and will be linked above when they are completed. Once we make our way inside the complex, we immediately see why it's called Little Venice. Now that we are here, I'm going to show you a few of the great views of Port Supplia. I've decided not to cover the whole route here so that you can experience the joy of getting lost. While there are no canals, the intimate nature of the community and the hidden walkways give you that same feeling. You experience wonder everywhere you look. In this corner, we find colorful homes and fun little walkways that are perfect for exploring and taking gorgeous photos. There are many apartments to rent here, but if you like the additional activity of a resort, then this place on the north end is for you. It was quiet in late February, but I am sure it buzzes in the summer. And finally, here is a view of the port from the northern edge. What do you think? Is Port Supplia worth a side trip? Hit like and leave a comment. Thanks.